Okay, something strange is happening in the RV community. And we've been noticing this happening on occasion here and there. It seems like it's gotten a lot worse since all of the COVID stuff. And it's probably the most interesting thing that I personally am wondering about. Why is nobody talking about it? So before we get into this strange thing and some of the things that we've been noticing, let me first give you just a little bit of background. My name is Charity and in 2017, we bought our first RV to live a life of travel with our family. Now we created this channel in 2019, not only to share our journey, but also to be a resource for those who are looking to get into the RV lifestyle or maybe just live a more minimalistic life. So we share a ton of tips and tricks, organizations, hacks, mods, places to visit. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if that sounds like something that you're interested in learning more about. Okay, let's jump right in and talk about what's getting really weird. It got weird, didn't it? Yeah. But maybe more importantly, why are some things getting weird? So let me start off by telling you a little story of something that happened at a campground recently. We had been at this particular campground for a few days, and if you're an RVer, you kind of know how it is. You see campers coming and going during the time that you're staying at an RV campground. And a lot of time when other RVers arrive, you know how this is. Everyone kind of like peeks out their windows or stops to observe the new arrival, backing into their campsite because everybody kind of like wants to sit and sort of silently judge other people parking. Now, I swear this is something nobody really talks about, but it is a phenomenon. You can leave a comment below. You have to let me know your thoughts on this. But sometimes I see people back in, especially like fifth wheels, and I just literally want to like stand up and applaud because that's like a phenomenal thing and it's not the easiest thing to do, especially if you've got trees and rocks and other obstacles in the way. But in this particular situation at this campground, this was a more, let's say, mature couple that arrived in a motorhome and they had just backed into their campsite when the gentleman got out of the motorhome and immediately began yelling. And I do mean very high volume yelling at his wife. And then he proceeded to adjust his parking job slightly. And then they started moving forward with the next steps of hooking up their RV. But here's the deal. Like every 60 seconds, as he would walk around his RV and hook up the electrical or the plumbing or the sewer, he would literally start yelling at his wife again, starting off by yelling her first name. I'm not gonna mention her actual name here because I do feel very bad for this poor woman who was being yelled at by her husband. And then after yelling out her first name in a tone that was definitely not the kindest, he would proceed to yell out whatever was wrong with each step of their setup process. And so within 20 minutes, I guarantee you, the whole campground knew this woman's name because he had literally yelled it out no less than 20 times in a 20 minute period. I honestly wish I could say this was the one and only time that we've ever seen people interacting with each other this way while we've been out on the road. But unfortunately, <laughs> We've seen similar situations play out and not just why setting up or packing down at an RV campground. And I'm gonna be 100% honest here, we're not perfect, not at all. In fact, being on the road has been both the best of times and the worst of times for our family. And whenever any of us are squeezed, whatever's on the inside of us comes out. So think about this, if you squeeze an orange, you're gonna get orange juice, not grape juice or lemon juice, because whatever's on the inside comes out when under pressure. And we as human beings are absolutely no different. So now this lifestyle, while it's amazing and it's filled with awe and wonder and memory-making opportunities, it is also a challenge. Just cleaning the patio off a little bit here. I'm glad there's a breeze out today because I had my first little poopsie. There are stressors that are different from living a stationary lifestyle. And for many, loneliness on the road can also be a big challenge. And let's not forget about how the RV and van life community has been in the spotlight in some recent years with stories of how things have gone off of the rails with those setting off to find the Instagram perfect life of a travel lifestyle, only to find that this dream turns into a nightmare and sometimes with very tragic consequences. So this is a great time to mention a quick thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. 
you know, both Ben and I have been experiencing the stress that comes with being together literally 24 seven and working together, but also being in a smaller space and then add into the mix two teen children and trying to navigate their needs in this season of life. And I can tell you, it can all feel very overwhelming at times, especially for us over the past several months. And this is where getting therapy has been a valuable asset for both Ben and myself. Seeing a therapist has helped us work through some of the things that were impacting not only our relationship with each other, but also in just how we handle day-to-day -day life, which let's be real here for a moment. The world feels like it is a little crazy at times. And sometimes it's just great to have someone help you process through things. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be hard, especially when you're living a travel lifestyle and you're not always in the same physical location for a long period of time. So BetterHelp makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can help match you to a professional therapist in as little as just a few days. So whether you're dealing with a diagnosed mental health condition such as depression or anxiety, or if you're just simply an individual navigating life's challenges, therapy can equip you with strategies to engage with your life from a different perspective. And finding a therapist that is the right fit for you is easy with BetterHelp because if you don't really fit with the therapist that you choose, which can be a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost, no stressing about insurance, who's in your network, out of network, anything like that at all. So if you are struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. You can click the link in the description below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash grateful glamper and save 10% off your first month. And thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. So now we've come up with a few tips and tricks that we have learned after five years of living this lifestyle to help keep things the way we intended for them to be when we embarked on this journey. Now, we talk a lot about experiences over things and making memories. And so, of course, we want the memories that we are making to be like the good kind and not like the traumatic kind, right? Like you all probably have this thing where you have this memory that wasn't so great of maybe something that happened in the past or with your family or even with a spouse or with kids. And that's not the kind of memories that we really want to be taking with us through this life. So when we face adversity on the road, and let me tell you, if you're living and traveling in an RV, there will be adversity. It is not a matter of if, just when. So we don't wanna be wound so tight from an emotional standpoint that the next thing that goes wrong is like the straw that breaks the camel's back resulting in the equivalent of an adult temper tantrum like this gentleman that was just trying to park his RV. And unfortunately, his wife was the recipient of that temper tantrum. <laughs> so practicing self-care on the road is extremely important. And it's really easy to get out of a normal routine and into something that we've coined as vacation mode. And when you get into vacation mode, it's easy for things to start falling apart. So some practical ways that we have found to implement self-care on the road are things like having a daily routine. So regardless of whether or not it's a travel day or not, getting up in the morning, starting each day with a walk around the campground. This is actually where having Alaska with us is helpful because he needs to go for a walk. So it's kind of like a forced routine to get up and take him for a walk around the campground in the mornings. The second thing is to just maintain healthy habits. Now this can be hard because when you're traveling, if you're anything like us, you wanna try all the new foods and drink all the new drinks and they're not exactly the most healthy. So we do try to limit eating out maybe once or twice while we're in a new area when we're visiting and making sure that when we are cooking in the RV that we're eating healthy here and that we're also getting enough sleep. So. Tip number three is to just stay connected. Now, this is where we have enjoyed having travel buddies. And if you've not found your people yet while you're on the road, we actually have a group in our Discord, which I'll have a link for below, for people that are wanting to connect with others while that they're on the road. Now, there's also groups like escapees, full-time families, where people can share travel calendars and events. And a lot of campgrounds, actually, we've seen offer opportunities to connect, like ice cream social nights or bingo nights, or there's even a campground we've stayed at that had like weekly crafting opportunities where you can get together with other campers and put a quick craft together. There's a ton of research that shows how vital human connection and relationships are not only to 
to mental health, but actually physical health as well. So you'll have to let us know what are some of your best tips for maintaining connection with others while you're on the road and staying just emotionally and physically well while you're on the road as well. I'm gonna put a video right up here where I share some more thoughts and uncomfortable truths about RV life that you really need to hear and you might not hear it anywhere else, so you have to check it out. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.